first thing you want to do is unzip or install Syndronum, uh, seeing as we're going to have to copy a lot of files into the installed or unzipped directory. I chose to actually unzip it, as you can see in the tutorial. The soundtrack might not be for everybody, but if you want the new revamp soundtrack, you should install that into the skins folder by just copying it into skins. You can also copy the Brutal Doom actual mod package, as everything in skins is just an auto-load feature. So anything put in here will get auto-loaded, but that will make it hard to change out mods in the future. The last thing we have to do before you can actually start playing is to copy the Brutal Doom mod package into the actual game root folder, and then also copy either a copy of one of the Doom games or use Free Doom, which is also in the description below. Now all you have to do to start the game is to just click and drag the mod package onto Syndronum. Syndronum is dedicated to the real Doom experience. So there's a few settings you might want to change to make it play more like a modern day shooter. First of all, you want to go into the control scheme and actually map your secondary fire jump and crouch to something that you can actually use. Then you want to go into actual uh, display settings and set up the G set doom hut so you can actually see the inventory and set up a crosshair so you can actually aim and hit people. Then finally, what you want to do is actually set the resolution and set hardware rendering. The resolution is especially important because as you can see, I have a very not good looking zoom up just to show you the settings menu. To actually play multiplayer, I usually use Doomseeker. To start up Doomseeker, you want to go into the Doomseeker folder and actually run the program. Once you're in the actual program, you press the Create Server button, and you make sure to point, like I'm illustrating here, to all the correct files that we previously set into your game. Once you actually click Create Server, you will be able to press Join yourself to join your server, and your friends should also be able to find your server through Doomseeker. As a bonus or extra nuisance or whatever you guys might call it, I'm actually going to show you how to add uh, Brutal Doom to Steam just in case you want to play it from Steam. Basically just add Syndronum to Steam like shown in the tutorial. And then you have to right click Syndronum, press properties and go into set launch options. Here you just paste in the actual Brutal Doom package name. Seeing as it's already in the Syndronum folder, Syndronum will figure it all out and start Brutal Doom up for you.